math anxiety is different for different people because we're all different. Some people have it way worse than others. I myself have had it. It hasn't been too bad, and I've been able to overcome it pretty much 100%. I really don't have any math anxiety anymore. I used to have it, and I got over it. And in this video, I'm going to talk about why people get math anxiety, and I'm going to give you a couple ways to overcome math anxiety. So what exactly is math anxiety? So for some people, it's simply opening a math book, starting to do your homework, and realizing that you can't do anything, even though you were just in class and you understood everything. Then you come home, you try to do the homework, whether it be online homework or homework in your book, and you just can't comprehend it. You just feel hopeless. That's, I think, the most extreme case. For most people, math anxiety is simply test anxiety. You go take a test, you sit there, and you start freaking out. My worst experience with math anxiety was during a test. I think it was a linear algebra class, and I walked in, I sat down, I was very ready for the test. The professor passes out the test, and my arm stuck to the page because I started sweating. I was actually sweating. I mean, completely ridiculous. It took me about 15 minutes to relax. And I remember thinking, wow, what the heck is wrong with me? Like, am I losing my mind? This has never happened before. And over the years, I got better at it and I was able to overcome it. I've seen other people have meth anxiety too. I was taking a partial differential equations class once and the guy next to me was shaking before the final exam. The final exam in that class was 55% of the grade and it was three questions. So maybe that's why. And I can go on and on. I had a student once who was in my office and we would go over everything he needed to know for the test and the class. He was a master. He pretty much knew it all. He would come to class. I'd give him the test. He would freeze. I remember walking by him repeatedly and staring and trying not to stare too much because I didn't want to make him feel nervous, but just saying, oh man, you got this. And like trying to transmit my, my math knowledge to him, you know, psychically, because I really wanted him to do well. And he just blanked out. He ended up passing the class, which is okay. And he has his degree now, but math anxiety really hurt him. So why does it happen? And how can you overcome it? Let's talk about that. In my opinion, the number one reason for math anxiety is because there are expectations. We have grades. You take a class, whether it be in high school or college, and there is this expectation that you do well. You have a grade. It's so important. You know, people say grades don't matter, and they don't to an extent, but they also do to an extent. So they do matter for some things, and they don't matter for other things. And that's a big deal. So because we have grades, there's always going to be this pressure. There's pressure to complete the homework. There's pressure to complete it correctly. There's pressure to understand it. There's pressure to do well on the test. Therefore, there's pressure to study for the test. So you've got all of these pressures and the subject itself is not very easy, right? Math is pretty hard. And for some people, it's harder than for other people. So it can really add up if you're a person who easily gets stressed and you struggle a little bit more than your classmates, the math anxiety can really, really take its toll. So how do you get past these expectations? Because you can't change them, right? You can't change it. If you're taking a class in college or in high school, there's going to be a grade. So there's nothing you can do about that, right? Because that's not in your control. That's in the control of the system. Society says, hey, if you take this class, you're going to get an A, a B, a C, a D, or an F. So that's how it is. So you have to somehow manage that. So the best way to manage that, in my opinion, is through self-study. I want to emphasize that self-study isn't the only way to get over your math anxiety. There's actually an easier way, which is not as efficient, but it's much easier. In this video, we're actually going to talk about two ways to get over your math anxiety. 
We'll talk about self-study first, and then we'll talk about this other way, which is actually a lot easier. And with practice, it can actually be very, very effective. Self-study helps you in so many ways. It helps you get better at the math that you're actually learning because you're doing problems on your own, extra problems that aren't even in the homework set for your class. That makes you so much better. Because you're doing those extra problems, it's increasing what's called your mathematical maturity because you're doing more math. That makes you better at learning new math. So next time you go to class and a new idea is presented, you're more open to it and you're better at it. You're just able to learn more math. The more math you learn, the easier it becomes to learn new math. Also, if you're reading during your self-study, that is huge. Whenever you read things from a math book, they tend to stick better. I don't know why. I'm not a scientist. I don't know how the mind works. I just know that whenever I read something from a math book, it sticks better. There's something about reading an actual book that makes it stick in your mind. It raises your confidence because you're learning math on your own without any outside help that shows you that you're able to learn new math. So when you go to class, you feel prepared. And oftentimes when you do self-study and you go to class, things that you've learned on your own will come up in class. And that is the best feeling. There is nothing like sitting in class and having the professor go over some topic and you're sitting there thinking, oh yeah, I was reading about that on Saturday night. I know exactly what they're talking about. That is an awesome feeling. The easiest way to overcome math anxiety is to remember that grades aren't everything. Grades do matter for some things and they don't matter for other things. But there's more to life than your grades. And I think that's the easiest way to overcome math anxiety is to remind yourself of that. Oftentimes what I would do before a test is I would study like crazy even on the day of the test. In fact, I would even study five minutes before the test. I would just be looking over the homework problems, making sure I was in math zone. My friends would be talking over there to each other and, you know, worried and just having side conversations. I would be in the zone, focusing on the moment, just focusing on the math. I would take the test, do my best. And as soon as I walked out of that test, I would tell myself it didn't matter. Every single time I would take a test, I would walk out of that room and tell myself, it doesn't matter. It's just a grade. Life goes on. I'm alive. I can go home and I can eat. I can play video games. You know, there's, there's more to life. And I think that's a really good way of managing your emotions. That's how I was able to do it. So I was never really worried about my grades after a test. It was only before. And you want to turn that worry into studying and motivation. There's no instant cure for math anxiety. It really is a process. I feel like over the years, I became better and better at it just by taking more math tests. Eventually, you will get over your math anxiety and it just takes practice and time. So try those two tips, self-study and remind yourself grades aren't everything. It's really easy though to get carried away with the second one because grades do matter. So try to find a balance. Do you have any advice for people on how to deal with math anxiety? How do you deal with math anxiety? If you have any advice, please leave a comment in the comment section below. Good luck.